In this tutorial, you're going to learn the basics about motion editing and animation. Before I showed you how we can use right click menus to go to the performs of our characters and use the animation of our personas such as this one, no no no. Notice that after the animation has been added in, a gold bar was created showing that animation sequence. To get to the very end, we can click next segment and this way we can add in another animation that will immediately follow that first one. So let's go ahead and do another right click menu animation for perform and let's add in sigh. Oh, so sad. And let's press stop. So this was the first animation of no no no. Click next segment twice to get to the next animation sequence of this golden bar. Now to add another animation at the end, click next segment. That way we can add an animation that follows that, uh, that second animation sequence. Now to use the animation from the library, just go to the tab for animation, then make sure motion is selected, and we can go to our content manager and go through all the different types of animations that exist in iClone 4. As you can see, there are many different types of motion types, but I'm only interested in the dance, so let's find the dance that we can use for our character. Maybe we can use Hip Hop 03. Now there are two ways you can add this animation sequence in. First is you double click and any of the characters that you have selected in your preview window will receive that animation. Or you can just grab that animation, drag it over to the character you wish to add it to, and just drop it on them. And they will begin to do the animation. I'm going to go ahead and stop that and click the next segment to get back to it and you can see the gold bar has been added in our time scrub for that animation sequence of hip-hop dancing. So let's take a look at another type of way of adding an animation and that is by using editing motion layer. By clicking on this you'll open up a small panel in which you can choose different parts of the body to animate. For instance I will just grab maybe the forearm here and notice now that the parent of the arm and the child of the lower of the upper arm are now selected and I can move her arm into position. Let me get the motion layer panel out of the way and I can move her arm up and down. And by pressing the alt key I can rotate around the character and then I can also make her arm move up. And notice how when I move her arm that the upper arm will move with it. But if I use the rotate key, then I can only rotate this one part of her arm up and down. But the child of the upper arm will not move. I can rotate her arm like this. All right, I want to show you a few more things with edit motion there. For instance, if we grab the lower arm and we have the upper arm as the child, then we select mirror, then both arms will move. So let's go ahead and move both our arms up. And then let's change our camera angle and let's put our arms out in front of her. Now it's very important when editing motion with IK to have the correct camera angle. For instance, if we try to put her, her arms in front of her, when we're looking from her from in front, it will not be the proper kind of animation we want. So it's very important to have the right camera angle to get the right type of animation. All right, now that we put her hands here, let's go ahead and put our hands above her like so. Then we can use this lock mechanism to lock her arms into position. So I'm going to go ahead and lock both arms. Then I'm going to select her upper torso. Now I can make it look like she's climbing up. So I'm going to change my, my camera angle and I'm going to make her climb up like she's doing some pull-ups. Now notice here that her arms are up in the air but her shoulder bones are not correct. So one way that we can do to try to correct this is actually use the rotate tool to adjust for the shoulder bones. So let's use the rotate. Let's go ahead and rotate her, her shoulders. After we rotated the shoulder bones, the animation is more accurate. Another cool thing we can do with edit motion there is to lock her feet in place, then grab her, her lower torso and have her sit down. But again, IK animation requires a proper camera angle, so let's go ahead and angle around her and have her profile look. Now using the move tool, I can just push her lower torso down and make her sit. Next I want to show you some hand animations, so I've zoomed in a little closer to her right arm. So let's go ahead and take a look at her wrist. If we use the wrist, we can easily rotate her wrist inward and outward, 
or just by right clicking we can change the angle and we can make her shake hands. We can also puppeteer her wrist by just clicking on the wrist here and then just moving it around inside the edit motion layer panel. We can also choose individual fingers and have them move as well. If you want to have a natural curl for your finger, notice I've changed the camera angle so you can see better, you just grab her finger and then inside the panel just drag around and you can see that her finger will just naturally curl properly. You can also, you can also do this with all five fingers by grabbing the palm area and just dragging inside the panel and you'll get the natural curl or fist. But again, if you just need to only move one finger at a time, you can use the rotate tool and you can just rotate it in. But notice you don't get the natural hand curl unless you manually create it. Now that we have seen how to move the body parts around, let me show you how we can actually make animation. So let's go to timeline. And notice there are several different tracks here, but we're only interested in motion, so we'll click on that. And notice, here let me just move the timeline up a little bit. Notice we have what is called motion layer and presently we are at keyframe 1 and you see that there's a dot here representing this pose that she's in. Now if we go to keyframe 30 and we can add in a key. So after we add in the key we can go to the edit motion layer, grab her arm and then we can move her arm up. Then whenever I play back you'll notice from this point to this point her arm will animate going up. So let's go ahead and press play. Alright now that we have seen how her arm will go up if you have Pro, you can just right click and copy and then paste out that key. Then we can go back to her original position, copy that key, and then paste that one, maybe say around 80. So when we play back, from this point to this point, her arm will go up. And then from this point to this keyframe, her arm will stay up. And then from this keyframe to this keyframe, she'll move her arm down. So let's press play. And then that's how we can animate, the basics of animation. So you can just create keyframe animation and using the motion layer to create all types of animation for your projects.